welcome back to my channel and welcome back to this brand new video which today is going to be just a quick tutorial on how I'm currently styling my hair, how I get this kind of bouncy, long, loose waves um, in a really short period of time. Like obviously I'm a busy, busy mom. I don't have like hours on end to do my hair. I found the best curling tongue that I'm absolutely loving at the moment just to get this kind of really nice big bouncy waves and it just takes literally 10 minutes it's super super quick and in this video I'm going to show you how I do it how I, how I start my hair so quickly how I get this kind of look and the products that I use to create this now we can get this bouncy messy hair look in really 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 simple in like 10 minutes so I'm going to show you how to do that so before we get into the tutorial, uh, I've been having a lot of questions lately about my hair. So obviously a few months ago my hair was super short and black and now it is kind of like a caramelly colour and super super long. So I have had some amazing people looking after my hair over the last few weeks and that is how we have managed to get it from a very very dark and damaged um, bob to this kind of much warmer, lighter brown and obviously much, much longer. So my hair extensions, I've been getting loads and loads of questions on. So the girl that does my hair uh, is on Instagram. I will put all their handles uh, down below. So it's core lengths and I have hair rehab micro bonds. There is just under 200 grams uh, and a mixture of two colors in my hair. Um, that we've used to match it so there's a slightly lighter color at the front and just dotted throughout um, and yeah so I have 22 inches I've never had micro bonds before I've always had a weave which I absolutely love but I just wanted to try something different and um, so I've had micro bonds this time so they are very very tiny tiny little metal micro bonds that just sit on your hair um, I will put a picture in here so you can see them and yeah they are fab they I don't have any kind of weight in my head it's all very kind Kind of like you can't really tell they're there they feel really comfortable um, and yeah I've been getting on really really well with them so I'm really liking those and yeah my hair extensions are hair rehab which I'm really liking and my color I have been looked after by the amazing Claire Flack from wigs and wall paint in Sheffield now Claire's done an amazing job of my hair I'm so excited I found her and um, I've been looking for somebody amazing to do my color for a long long time and she and all the guys at Wigs and Wallpay in Sheffield are just amazing. So she has been doing my hair for, I think she's done it three times now. So we've gone from very, very dark, we stripped the colour out, we went a little bit lighter, then the last time we've gone a little bit lighter again. We've got some blonde bits around my face. We've managed to lighten those darker bits around my face a little bit more and put some throughout and I'm so, so happy with the results. I'm really, really liking this colour. Um, so yeah, that is, um, so Claire has been looking after my hair from Wigs and Wall Paint. So yeah, Claire and Wigs and Wall Paint use all Red Ken products, which I am a big, big fan of. I've been working with Red Ken for a little while now and their products are fantastic. Um, and I've also been trying out these Devine's products which are so so nice so uh, I will link all of those down below also and yeah um, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial if you have any questions about hair extensions about wigs and wall paint in Sheffield about where I go for my hair extensions about hair rehab anything just pop them below I will answer all your questions in the comments section so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial already make sure you subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and leave me a little comment below and get straight into the tutorial so I washed my hair yesterday um, and I always find that is the best day the day after is always the best day to get the best styling. So if I'm going out or if I've got something going on, I'll always wash my hair the day before. So I did very slightly just like curl the ends yesterday, but to be honest, I didn't do very much to it at all. So it's kind of just in a kind of nothing messy state. Now, obviously, I've done a lot to my hair the last few months. Um, I was, a couple of months ago, I was jet black. Elton, stop barking! Come here. Sparking at, at his reflection in the in the uh, picture frames. Here he is. What are you barking at, noisy? Hey. So yeah, I um, I was jet black. 
so my hair has had quite a bit of bleach and it was already a little bit damaged from last year when somebody else did my hair and absolutely messed it up and it all broke off um, so yeah it's still recovering it's still it's still damaged Claire at wigs and wallpaper has been really really careful when she's been um, lightening my hair really looking after it and done a, a fantastic job of actually getting it a lot lighter without damaging it anymore it's slightly dry and then obviously with my extensions I have to really look after them so that they don't go um, too dried out so I the first thing I do is use my Tresemme heat protection spray so this is just my little travel size bottle that I've just grabbed are you gonna do this the whole way through and just cover my hair in that so that once I am using heat on it it's not going to cause any more damage. I've also been using Olaplex on my damaged front so a couple of times a week I will um, just coat the, the whole kind of top section of my hair, the part that got damaged with Olaplex and sleeping it overnight. Um, quite often I'll put it in like when I get home at like tea time and just leave it in all evening, all overnight and then wash it out the next day. These all in one milk which is like a protection spray. Um, it has oil in and it basically says it's a multi-benefit beauty treatment. It detangles so I've been using it on Effie's hair which has been really good because she's got very curly hair which gets knotted very easily. Um, I found it great for that on her hair. It also adds shine, silkiness, it's just really really good. I'm really impressed with this. I've been using their shampoo and conditioner also and that has been really really nice so I'm just going to spray my extensions with it and it smells really nice as well and I'm just going to section off my short natural hair and leave my extension most of my extensions down just because my actual natural hair sits about here, so it's quite short, so I need to style that completely different um, to the curls that I'm going to do on my, oh, I've got some extensions in there, the curls that I'm gonna do on my extensions, um, otherwise they stick out. Um, so I have to be really careful about styling them so they're not just sticking out from the side of my head and actually like it is disguised into my extensions Woo. <laughs> but the wand I am going to be using today and I've been using for the last couple of weeks is the Mark Hill wand this wand you can interchange with different um, barrels so that you can get like smaller curls bigger ways this is just the plain kind of wide barrel and this is one that I've been finding is really, really good since I've had my extensions in. I do have one that's more like a curved one, but this has actually been my favorite at the moment. It gets really, really hot. So you do have to be careful. It does come with a glove, um, but I, I'm not very good when I have the glove on, so I'm just super careful to make sure that I don't get, um, touch the black barrel. So I'm just gonna section about an inch's width of hair and using my barrel start right at the top and wind it really tightly and right round and just hold that there for about 30 seconds what well, I used to just curl kind of the ends but I've been making sure since I put my extensions in and my hair's longer that I curl right from the top because I find it holds better um, and it does kind of drop out at the top so it just means that it's kind of just a lot curlier to begin with. So once I've had that for 30 seconds I very carefully unravel it and as I unravel it, ravel it round my hands and then I just hold it here until it slightly cools down and then I just give it a little little scrunch and I just find that that really just gives it a really nice bouncy curl. And then I just repeat again. So right up as close as you can get to your head. And I just hold that in for about 30 seconds. And then as I unwind it, wind it round my fingers. You might need the glove on for it, because um, it is hot. I'm just kind of not a wimp <laughs> with things like this. Um, so I just kind of hold it in, or you can also get a um, 
hair grip and grip it in like this so it really really holds. I just hold it for a minute and then just let it drop and give it a big scrunch up and you will see that it just gives such a nice bouncy, bouncy curl. So I'm going to repeat this all the way around my head. but you can see it's super bouncy and really nice waves so I'm just going to leave it for now while I do the top, top section just so those waves and those curls can really kind of set into the hair so I don't lose that bounciness so the top section I have to do slightly different because obviously my hair is quite short so there's one little extension in there I'm just going to curl that quickly because I've missed that in the bottom parts I'm going to curl that so that can sit down there. There we go. Yeah, so my top section of hair is quite short. You can see here, that's how short my actual natural hair is. So I need to kind of disguise that into my curls, which can be quite difficult, but I found with this tongue that it's quite, I found a way that I've do manage to get them just to sit on top rather than sticking out. So rather than curling them like um, I do the bottom section, I use the curling tongue and I use it to get some volume into this top section. So we're just kind of using it backwards and forwards on that section and then I'm just going to very slightly curl the ends under. This just means it kind of gets lost in the um, extension. So I'm just going to leave that for now and then I might have to just kind of tweak at it in a minute. So there's another bit there. So I'm going to do the same again. Just so I can kind of work it in to the kind of wave. And then the front section, I have kind of like these bits that are like bangs, kind of. And I'm going to do the same on this section. And curl those in. And then the front section. Oh, I've still got a grip in there. Let me take that bit down. And then the front section again. I'm going to curl forward. Like this. And then just kind of brush to the sides. And then I'm just going to take my spray again from Devine and just spray that top section just so it does keep that shine and kind of boost it up a little bit and then I'm just going to brush it out so that it is not so ringlety and then they will just drop slightly as well and there we go. That is my kind of really quick 10 minutes, how I just quickly curl and wave my hair um, at the moment using the Mark Hill tongue. So it's really bouncy, really big waves. It will drop out a little bit because my hair, it just, because of the length of it, it does drop out slightly anyway. But it just means that I keep this nice wave and then for the next few days, it will just slowly kind of go from this kind of bouncy waves to just like nice, loose waves and it just means I don't really have to do anything to my hair for the next couple of days. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed um, seeing how I create this really, really quick 
quick, easy kind of waved look for my hair. It literally takes probably less than 10 minutes a day and I am really enjoying the kind of messy, big, bouncy wave look. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, leave me a comment below. Any questions you've got, leave them in the comment section. I reply to all my comments and I will see you in my next video. Thank you very much guys, I love you all. Bye.